Hello everybody, welcome to How to Make Your Wine Happy and Healthy. Starving College Food Edition. The module for these episodes are to show you how to make foods that are cheap, fast, and tasty. Because there are times in our lives, like when you're starting a YouTube channel, where you don't have much time to spend in the kitchen because you want to interact with those three subscribers you got. And you don't have much money to spend because you're pouring it desperately into your YouTube channel to make it start. But you still want food that's tasty. If this sounds like you or somebody you know, then this episode is for you. Today I'm going to take out a staple from my college days and show you how to make Shout out goes to comparison, cooking, 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 cooking. Go ahead and check out his channel. Links are down below. He has a wonderful sous vide versus butter bath steak recipe, as well as a wonderful comparison of the different kinds of breadage you can put on fried chicken. It's a wonderful place. Go ahead and check out his videos after you finish with mine or before, whichever you want. And if you want to shout it in my next video, stay through to the end to find out how, or just fast forward, it'll do the same thing for you. Today's cheap, fast, and tasty dish comes from my old days of my bachelorhood. Very similar to make, all you use tortillas, cheese, chicken, and salsa of your choice. So let's make it. Two flour tortillas, four ounces of your favorite cheese. Remember, I made block cheese and shred it because it's cheaper that way. This one was a Jack Colby blend. Canned white chicken meat. Remember, we're going cheap here. Your favorites also. In fact, I'm so lazy in my approach today. We go straight to the pan, nothing else. If you didn't shred your cheese, you're going to have to shred it out. Or you can just slice it. Thin slices works just as well. If you seen it in my pan, you can take a look. It is about a Oh, a medium low heat. You want the cheese to melt and the tortilla to crisp up. At least that's what I like. A crisp tortilla makes it taste better. Here's a lazy man's way not to use up any other utensils. Gonna make sure I'm going to uh, open up my chicken can. Open up the can of chicken. We're not gonna want the juice, so I'm gonna drain it. To drain it, Cover it with the lid that you just opened and pour it over the sink. Brought all the juice. It's left with chicken, mostly. And there it is, white meat chicken in a can. We're gonna use half a can for tortilla. Take the tortillas no matter which side you use. You're gonna place it in the pan. Put in the cheese. A good healthy amount, that looks good. And take half the can of the chicken. I am crunching it up with my fingers a little bit to spread it out. Some more should you get the chicken. Now if you want to upgrade this for a higher cost, you fold it over. I'm going to take about a minute per side, and when I say two tortillas, we're going to do two of them at the same time. Okay, toss it in, cheese on top, now the chicken. We 
We just want to heat up so the cheese is going to melt. Now the chicken warms up. You can take and touch the tops. The tops are going to be cold. You can touch the tops without burning yourself. Let's check the first one. Nope. Not brown yet. Take a look. Now you're changing colors. We're going to wait on that one a little bit longer. Sitting here is either from the cheese or the chicken. I like, my I like my tortilla a little more toasted than this, so I'm going to turn up the heat a bit. Now if you look, you'll see the flames gotten a little bigger. Turned up my heat. Let's check the other one. Should be much the same. Well, the other one's a little more done. That side of my pan's a little hotter. It's got a little bit of the crispiness, so we're gonna turn that one over. If you want yours more done than that, more crispy, you can let it sit longer. Get some ready, there we go. There's a doneness I like. Little tan on it. Flip on the other side to tan the other side. Check it. Okay, other side looks toasted. Nice and toasted on the other side. So we're going to take it off and ready for cutting. Take the other one. Nice and crisp. You can cook it longer if you like. Fine for me. It's fast. Take it off, turn off the heat, and get it ready for slicing. Now personally, I'd probably cut these with a the pizza cutter. Cuts them really nice and cleanly. But if you're on a budget, you probably don't have a pizza cutter. So a regular table knife will do the job just fine. Or if you're even more lazy, you can just leave it whole and eat it like that. Pour the salsa on top. So I'm gonna cut it. right through. It's a regular table knife, we'll do the job. Almost as good as a pizza cutter. There you go. I'm gonna put it on a plate because I want some salsa. I'm gonna put the salsa on the plate too. Chicken cheese quesadilla with salsa. Mmm. See the spicy tomato flavor from the salsa added with the tender chicken, the melted cheese, all wrapped inside of that soft, warm tortilla shell makes it one of the best quesadillas I've had. Since you've made it this far, go ahead and dab on, dab on that like button just like my son dabbed on the salsa onto his chicken quesadilla. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. And just as mess with those people who don't watch the outro, go ahead and slip the word gordita into your comment down below and you'll have a chance to shout in my next video. Thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.